Hey yo, what it do YouTube? It's your boy Alvin MV10, aka AMR10, and what I got for you today is some NBA 2K23 Next Gen. Now the video you're witnessing today is a little bit different from what we usually do, because usually we're just making builds, but today's video happens to be a gameplay video with an SGA build we made a couple weeks ago. Now for those of you who are in the comment section for that video, you will have noticed I said if the video got 50 likes, we would run that build. The video is currently sitting at 70, so being a man of my word, here is some gameplay with the build. Now I do gotta say, this gameplay and me using this build in general will all be no money spent just because I don't like spending money on 2K or any game generally. Cause yeah, they always microtransactions, the prices are absurd. But with it being no money spent, it also does mean you guys will get to enjoy the process of grinding this build with me. Now I do gotta say, if you enjoy content like this and wanna see more of it, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button. Also go down below in the comment section and tell me if you wanna see more stuff like this cause I do enjoy playing the game with randoms every now and again. And lastly but not least, if you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as turning post notice on. Anyway, let me show you the attributes on this build as well as how the badges are currently set up. So starting off, as you can see, the build is currently at a 76 overall. It has taken me quite a while to get it there just because, yeah, grinding 2K, no money spent, hard as hell, especially when you don't enjoy just sitting at your computer every single hour of the day. But with the little VC we did manage to get and the upgrades we did do, we managed to get the driving layup up as well as the mid-range three ball, ball handle, pass accuracy, perimeter defense, steal, and then obviously on the physical side of things, we, get, we increased our speed and excel as well as stamina. Those are our key focuses when upgrading attributes to start off with just because in my head, I will be shooting a lot of jumpers, in which case I need a decent three ball, and at 70, he can knock down quite a few, which is what you'll see later on. And then obviously the driving layup and driving dunk, I improved a little bit. Only issue is driving dunk is usually more expensive than just improving the driving layup, which is why I went there. And then perimeter defense and steal is because I will have to play defense, in which case I don't want to get cooked by some guard. And when it came to badges, as you can see, we still haven't allocated the plus four we get from playing the My Career games, just because I'm gonna wait till the build, I really have a hang for it before I make that decision. And yeah, that won't be until we hit like 92 overall. So we're gonna keep avoiding it. Now finishing wise, these are the badges I elected to go with. They are limited by the fact of what my driving capability is with a higher driving layup than driving dunk. Shooting wise, as you can see, I've managed to unlock 19 out of 23 shooting badges. Yeah, I don't know why, but somehow I'm really finding it easy to unlock shooting badges over everything else. And these are the ones I elected to roll with. Playmaking again, only managed to unlock eight so far, but this is how I managed to set them up to help me run these this build for now and then defensively obviously I had to go with Hall of Fame off-ball pest as the very first badge I get because I will be playing a lot of off-ball as the two guard but yeah this is almost running it now let's get quickly into the gameplay and I'm gonna show you guys what this build does because it is nice <laughs> okay so as you can see we now have game one of the three games I will be showing you today let me just say this was my best performance of the day we did win all the games we played, but here, as you can see, starting off the game, we're matched up against an 85 overall guard, managed to get a quick little stop, grab the rebound, and try and get the outlet pass going, but as you can see, stolen, quickly hustle back on D, try and get to the rim to basically protect, fortunately enough, missed the shot, long rebound, and you know who grabs it. Now, this is one of the things I love about the build, is I get a quick little assist. It, even though with the attributes it has and the badges it does have, this build is hella versatile at a 76 overall. Now I do try and contest at the rim again here, but as you can see, I am late and get dunked on. Then again, we have a situation, missed shot, managed to grab myself a quick little rebound. And as soon as I grab these with how I know my stats are terrible, I'm trying to push the ball up the floor as quick as I can. Now I find myself in a situation, create a little space, pull up for a jump shot, happen to miss it, but hey, it is what it is. You gotta take those wide open ones when you can. They come back down the other way and just miss as well. Grab a quick little board. Try again, but this time, jump up to contest at the rim, grab another rebound, and outlet it. Now, my big thing about grabbing these boards is, this is a 76 overall build. A 76, as you grab another rebound, pull up again, miss. But a 76 overall build with no rebounding improvements on it. So, it is really balling out. Now, as you can see, get an outlet pass to my teammate, having to miss a shot. They grab the board, attack down the other way. I'm playing the passing lanes. Grab myself a quick little steal. Like, I am in love with this build and what it was doing in this game. Again, look for a quick little pass. Managed to get the assist as my teammate hits a jumper. I'm not going to lie. In this gameplay, I was getting sold quite a bit by my teammates with the number of missed shots. Again, playing the lane. Managed to tip the ball. But as you can see, due to the low attributes we do have when it comes to speed and excel, we barely managed to get that ball with the ability we do have. But you know what we can do? Guard the rim and grab a rebound and get it out again. This SGA build is nice. As I said, per usual, swing the ball. 
I'm trying to find myself in situations where I can spot up and get the ball back and shoot. Because really and truly off the dribble shooting with this build, unless I'm walking into it, it's kind of tough right now. It's kind of tough. Now, point guard brings it up the floor again. This kid was really just trying to force any situation he could. And sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. And here, I just get sent to the rafters on a horrible layup attempt. But, you know what I'm saying? It shows my ability to, to, to attack because I'm a 76 overall and I ain't scared of it. So I fake the defender out, run outside, run back towards the rim, pump fake. Like... This is where having low attributes bit me in the ass as they quickly go down the other way and dunk it. I'm missing layups that at a 99 overall, we're not missing those. But again, I quickly get the ball. In these situations, I like to stop, pop, pull up because I'm a money sniper from three. Even with a 76 overall that has like a 73, I still knock that thing down. Again, catch the defense slipping, get a quick little pass, get to the rim, no one there to protect it, dunk that thing home ASAP. Back on defense, you know me, I'm going to protect as much as I can. I'm going to guard my man, try and meet him at the rim, which I do. Get a quick little block, get the rebound. Outlet pass again, because as I said, I'm pushing this thing up the floor. We are currently up 17 to 15, close game. But there goes me stupidly jumping. This guy hits a nice little fader that he misses. He was knocking down a bunch of those in this game. But he misses that one. We managed to get the quick little rebound. Again, swing it over to the guard. Knocks it down. I'm not going to lie. In the clutch, he was coming up big. Throughout the game, he was selling me. But again, he finds himself open. Manages to knock it down again. That's the end of the game. And let me just say, as you can see, I managed to ball out with a nice little stat line of, I believe, 7-7-3. Seven, seven, now, game two. Here, we were matched up against a 60-something overall, so it was kind of unfair for him anyway. As you can see, we managed to get out-rebounded for what happens to be the first time in this entire series of games. I was kind of shocked because, you know, I thought we were on it. They're still swinging the ball around. I'm playing defense as tight as I can. First jump, stupid. Second jump. My key thinking there was I knew the shot clock was going, so either way, they had to put up a shot, so I was just going to jump at everything. Now, we do get the ball quickly. I'm looking to get it as I do find myself in a nice little spot, pull up from three, manage to knock it down because I don't miss those. Then again, find myself in a situation where I'm on defense, meet him at the rim, get the board, and as you can guess, I'm pushing this ball up the floor quick, pass it out, quick assist. Like... This SGA build might be one of the most versatile builds I've ever used in this game. But I also do got to say, if you guys want to see me take that Steph Curry build from the other day, the one that really popped off and is like 6k views, to no money spent it as well, which will be a little bit tougher because it's not a defensive build, I will do it. Because low key, as I said, playing with low overall builds, especially in the theater right now, is way too much fun. Find myself in another situation, step back, pull up for three, miss this one. Like... A 73 is nice enough that you can knock some jump shots down, but not nice enough that you can knock all of them. As I quickly show off what some of the greatest hustle play you'll ever see. Tipping the pass, managing to throw it back, get the quick aces because of how hard I work on the floor. Now, in this game, I was finding myself in more of a spot-up precision whereby I was, yeah, I was really trying to force it with spot-up shots. Here, you see me be greedy as hell. I'm not going to lie. I was feeling greedy because I wanted to put that ball in the hoop and I was getting annoyed at the fact that I wasn't making it at the cup with a little bit of defense. As I said, this kid just knocks down these faders like no man's business. Then, again, we're on offense. I'm really just trying to find myself open spaces, as you can see. I notice the defense falls back. I pull up again. Managed to knock it down because, as I said, we that easy money sniper lifestyle. Then, again, find myself in an open situation. Take a few steps to the right. Try and cross it over left, back right. Know they're going to jump too hard on that. Pull up again. And we miss. I ain't going to lie. That one hurt me. I'm a 94 overall point guard. I know that's going in as the 65 dunks at home. Again, try and jump a passing lane, get beat to it. Unfortunately, my teammates get there. I grab the board. I'm pushing it up the floor as quick as I can. Swing it out. And, yeah, get back out to me. And you know what we do when we're at three. Now, come on now. Quickly contest at the rim again. Like, this build defensively for a build that has no attributes for interior or rebounding, it was playing really well, especially against overalls that were higher than me. Yes, they weren't 99s, in which case they'd have probably dunked on me, but it was playing really, really well. Now, we're back on defense again. I tip a pass, and here, you know what we do. Lob City, Chip City. Let's go, baby. Game two in the back. All right. Now, we are going into what happened to be the last matchup of the game. As you can see, I'm showing you the overalls of this team because these guys were way higher overalls than me and my teammates. We did have a mascot on my side, but... It looked like this was the game we were meant to lose, but hey, if you know me, even with a low overall, son, I'm a ball as I swing it over to the mascot for a quick little assist. Now, 
this was the fourth game of the series. I will not lie to you. There was a game in between the last game and this game, but I did not feel to post that content because in that game, we weren't doing much. Like, we did win, but I wasn't doing too much. I was just mainly facilitating as the guys weren't trying to swing me the ball too tough. But as you can see, again, another situation where the build manages to crash the glass. I keep myself out of three, managed to get the kick out, and I pull up. But you know what I'm saying? Easy money sniper. Knock that thing down. Again, this mascot that I was playing with, I really do love his ability of moving the ball around because most people that have an overall would not be passing it, but he was, even though I was missing some easy jumpers like that. But yeah, we were killing these dudes even though they were 97 overalls, and it mainly happened to be because of the dude in purple. He was one of the worst teammates I ever see as I see my teammate knock down another three, putting us up 9-2 to two so early in this game. But again, we're back on offense. I would like to say with these videos... You guys do me a favor and tell me how you want me to deal with them. Because personally speaking, this is the one time I'm doing it post-commentary. Next time, I'm most likely going to do it as a live call whereby I record with my own audio. Only thing is I got to remember to lower my... I'm trying to work on how much I swear. So I'm trying to lower that down. But yeah, as I pull it from three again. But yeah, I'm trying to lower how much I swear in these. So we'll try and see. But hopefully you guys are enjoying these types of videos. Because low-key, I am trying to put more gameplay videos out. Because I do enjoy making build videos. But I also do enjoy posting gameplay videos. Because... There's just a good feeling to it. But as you can see, we are still up. I pull up again from three. Managed to miss a shot, which kind of hurt me. The mascot manages to get it, gets out, pulls up again. He misses as well, which is kind of painful because I thought he'd knock it down. Then defensively, you know me. Like, I might be a low overall, but I am staying with you. But hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos. Because, yeah, anyway, we're wrapping it up. We basically end up closing this game out. I did not manage to get the last few points, but I did manage to get the other ones. And, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, which if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, you haven't done so yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as turning post notices on. We will have another video dropping soon. I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.